Boom! Welcome to Premium Flax's guide to advanced, advanced gaming tactics. Okay? Welcome to the Pyrrhean Flax playbook. I'm going to reveal to you the strategies, tactics, tricks, tips, dodges, methods, hustles, and downright cheats that will enable you to succeed as I have in the world of competitive gaming. But wait a moment, B Flax. Oh, what is it now? Well, if you teach us these tactics, won't you be giving up all your best tricks? No, idiot! Because I use advanced, advanced tactics. That's tactics cubed. You're going to be using tactics squared. Okay? Mathematics wins again. Memorize these moves and techniques if you dare. Number one, tactical blinking. You blink alternating eyes. Okay? Try that. You blink one eye, then the other eye. You never... Take your eye off the monitor. Yeah? Tactical blinking. Just try it. I can do this all day. Okay? Your eyes should also be covered with tactical sun reflective maximum albedo lenses to avoid glare. Because if you blink, you just took your eyes off the game. Okay, let me ask you a question. If someone had a Magnum 357 pointed at your face, would you take your eyes off them? No! Then why are you blinking when you're playing a game? Huh? You just gave up your most powerful sense by acting untactically. Get tactical! Number two, Delta Split. This is useful in a wide variety of games. Okay? In Dota 2, for instance, let's say you see an incoming Lich Ult, yeah? Or a black hole. In, in a shooty kind of game, you see a rocket or a grenade or some shit. Basically, you shout, Delta Split! And the aim is for your teammates and you to, you all run in different directions. In reality, sometimes you may all bump into each other, you kind of hug each other like a bunch of grapes. But in theory, the Delta Split is perfect. Okay? You need to scream it. Scream Delta Split. Make sure your teammates are alert to this tactic. Try it in real life as well. Just yell Delta Split. Perform a Delta Split in public. Cannot fail. If it does, you're doing it wrong. Delta Split! Just try it. Okay, next... The Inquisition. This is a move to perform straight after you've lost a fight. It begins with a player telling someone else on the team what they should have done. Okay, The middle part involves someone pointing out that they had said the fight would go poorly, even if they hadn't. Okay, It concludes with someone AFK and refusing to play because their team are noobs. That's the Inquisition. It's an important move in gaming. Closely followed by, in terms of importance, the sidestep. You know when you're about to start a session and you lose the first game miserably and in like no time at all and you say, oh that's okay lads, that was just a warm up. There is an advanced tactic to save time here. Okay, you just sidestep the first match. If you're queuing for the game, you just decline the first game. Just get in the queue, it'll say game is ready, do you want to play? No. You just sidestepped the warm up game and now you're ready to play. Boom. T saves time, saves pain. Perfect. Next move. The double double tap. You've heard of the double tap. This is a reappraisal of the double tap. This is a tactical double tap called a double double tap. Instead of two shots at a time, it's a double double tap. It's four shots at a time. Very simple. It's four shots to the head and four shots to the chest. If, it, if, it's, a, if it's Dota or something, you just, just cast every spell you have, use Refresher Orb, cast them all again. Double double tap. Okay? If you can, get more Refresher Orb, stack it up. Cast the spells again. This is both optimal and strategic and tactical. Okay, double double tap. Remember that. If necessary, you immobilize your opponent, close to point blank range, double 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 tap. Um, that's advanced advanced. I'm getting a little far. I don't I don't want to go too fast for you, but basically double double tap is important. Okay. Sever and secrete. This is key. You sever all personal relationships and you secrete yourself from humanity, okay? Secrete not as in like an odor, which you're doing anyway. I'm talking about you secrete yourself. Build a concrete bunker or something like that, some underground area. Move everything down there. Food and drink, your PC, of course. Yourself, goes without saying. Get down there. Tell all your family and friends you died. Send that, you know, have a fake funeral. Sever and secrete. Get down there. Because they will not help you. And once you're down there and you've severed and secreted, then you can secrete an odor all you like. It doesn't matter. That's part of it. It just came off cooldown. Check the replay if you don't believe me. This is huge. I'm almost loath to release this, but 
you could have used maybe God strength, or you wanted to use black hole or something, but you forgot, or you fat fingered it or something. Just claim it was on cooldown. Just say I, oh, it just came off cooldown. It just came off cooldown without loading up the replay, which let's be honest, nobody does. Okay, nobody, nobody will check, and they'll just go, oh, fair enough, and they'll say, oh, maybe you should have said something, and you say, I did, I did, I literally just said. 20 seconds to lot. We went on 19. You know, it was, it was so close. Just try that. Just say it with me. T P Flax, why didn't you black hole? I, guys, it just came off cooldown. I'm sorry, it just literally just came off cooldown. And they, I was just perma stunned. Do you hear that? It's that easy. It's that easy. Okay, next tactic. Blame team. GG noob team. Put that in quotes. Remember it. This is an important way to distance yourself from a hopeless situation, okay? So no matter how culpable you may be, just, did you just wander into the woods and get ganked? Blame a lack of wards. GG noob team won't buy wards. Sad face. The sad face is important. It implies a kind of world weariness. It begs for sympathy. Did someone just smoke the house you were about to rush and clear? If it's like Counter-Strike or something? Nice smoke or noob is another one. Ignore the typo. Capitalize on it. Refer to it as smoke -all from that point on. It seems like you're so pro you're aware of lingo that other people are just not on board with. Smokel. It's a smokel grenade. Postcognition. If you are a truly gifted postcognitive, you can tell people what's going to happen after it's happened. It's extremely useful talent. Best employed after a game has just been lost. Okay, in Dota 2, they're probably doing Roshan. It's a good example of a postcognitive ability usually uttered just as the words Roshan has fallen to the dire appear on screen. And now they're gonna get top racks is another typical post cog post prediction. Post addiction. Usually this sort of post cognition it'll be made when four of your team were dead and your top racks is being destroyed uncontested. Okay? A truly blessed post cognitive will be able to keep you up to date with the bloody obvious throughout the game. Okay, it's truly a talent to be coveted. Uh, and that's it. That's advanced advanced strategy part one for gaming. Uh, if you want to take your game to the next level, uh, enroll in my sensational, inspirational, and motivational program today uh, by following me on Twitter and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, Delta Split! I hope, I really hope that you did actually Delta Split. And if you didn't, you may need to watch my guide again. Stay tactical!